Hey guys, Kyle Sutton here with Better the Berg and your Pittsburgh neighbor. Just a little web show where I introduce you to great local small businesses and nonprofits that are operating here in Pittsburgh. And today I am excited to bring you to Cyclops Cafe in Bellevue. Um, I'm here with the owner, Jeremy. Jeremy, thanks for having me. Of course, Kyle. Thanks yeah. for coming out, man. You bet, you bet. Um, so, relatively new here in, in, in Bellevue, yeah. right? About eight months in right now. Okay. So. Okay. November. No November. All right, yeah. Um, but, uh, Guys, if you come come down, you'll notice that uh, he's quickly become sort of a community hub. People uh, people like being here at Cyclops Cafe, and uh, I don't know, you've created a great atmosphere, it seems. Well, I don't want to say I've created it. Okay. A lot of this is because of people at Bellevue just coming in and hanging out, and um, you know, we have local woodworkers and Rust Belt Trading Company. Um, we have a bunch of different artists, like David Connolly's a crayon artist. Um, Songbird Artistry has her stuff over there. Alex Volterius' art is on the walls. These are all people that live in Bellevue or are local to Bellevue where they work. Yeah. Um, so they came in and kind of put their own flair on it. And I, they were like, can we do this? And I said, absolutely, do what you want. Because those people are far more creative than I'll ever be. You know, <laughs> They know how to make a room look good. I just know how to make coffee. So. Well, but, but you do a good job of that then too. Uh, I guess so, yeah. yeah they're not, from what I've, what I've tasted, he does. Um, Jim, do you have uh, any any new things you've been been serving or popular? I've been experimenting with honey a lot lately, so okay. I get local honey from Dee's Floral down the street, mm -hmm. um, and I've been doing honey cinnamon, honey vanilla, and honey lavender lattes. The yeah, honey okay. lavender is still okay. on the menu, but it's going to be out soon. Okay. I just need to get the the you know the proportions your, your right mix right. Yeah, <coughs> that, that sounds really good. That sounds really good. Yeah. Um, so unique spot, guys, in, in that uh, you drive by it. It says uh, the coffee, coffee, and coffee and tattoos. You, yeah. you have. Uh, you get to work close with your brother who has the, the back shop, is that how it works? No, it's actually, uh, they're a separate company that rents from us back there. Okay, okay. Um, but yeah, they do cool things for Bellevue and they help with all the events that we do and they're called Pierce Hearts Tattoo, check okay. them out, they do some really good work. Yeah, very um, good. Good friends, good guys, so. Okay, cool, cool. Um, one other thing, there's uh, there's kind of a little bit of a stage setup, so you have, you have live music sometimes. Yeah, you? absolutely, we have uh, shows all during the week. Uh, to get people in from outside of Bellevue to come into Bellevue and see what this place is really all about. Right. Um, you know, and then we'll use that stage for seating as well. So it's pretty multi, multi-purpose up there, but you know, we have a couple bands coming up this week. Um, well, not this week, I'm sorry. We have one on Wednesday. Yeah. And then at the end of the month, we have four shows coming up. So on the 29th, we have four bands playing that night. Right. And um, that'll be a good time. It's a new art show with my friend Amber Gordon. Okay. She'll be doing a bunch of cool stuff there. So. Yeah, very good. Very good. Um, guys, Cyclops Cafe seems like a really great spot here in Bellevue. I'd love to have you check it out. Before we close, though, one, one other thing I, I want uh, Jeremy to tell you about. He's, uh, he's actually volunteered uh, to be a, a, a drop-off space for... Um, for, for Holy, Holy Family Institute, mm -hmm. who um, you may have seen, you may have heard, are, are housing um, 50 of the, the refugee children who've been separated from their family down in Mexico. So J Jeremy, can you tell me a little bit about what's going on there? Yeah, so we are a certified drop-off point now for all donations uh, to Holy Family Institute. I could list them right now, but it would take me about it's an hour list. of yeah. everything they need. Sure. Um, but if you check it out, um, you know, you can give them a call, just Google Holy Family Institute. They're doing a great thing. Um, you know, for some people that really need a lot of loving and help right now. So I would recommend checking that out and then giving them a call perhaps and, you yeah. know, yeah, giving yeah. them a call and going there and dropping stuff off or bringing them here and dropping it off. Sure. Really, really good. Yeah, guys. And we'll, we'll try and put, add a list to, uh, uh, to, to the video once you, once you see it, just so you know what, what items are, are important. So, uh, Jeremy, thanks again. Of course, man. Thank you so much for coming out. All right, guys. You take care. Bye.